All right, so the Pixel 4a was just announced yesterday and I dropped an entire 12 minute video on my honest opinions and thoughts about this device, as well as the sort of comparison between this device, the iPhone SE, and of course, the OnePlus Nord. So uh, check that out. It's probably linked up there if you want to know about that. But also, I just want to mention I'm working really hard behind the scenes to get out the most tech content for you guys. We had the Pixel 4a video yesterday. We had this video today, and we might have two to three videos tomorrow for Samsung Galaxy Unpacked 2020. Really excited to share all the stuff with you guys. So if you're not already subscribed, please do. That would help me out a lot. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the Pixel 4a, 5G, and the Pixel 5. Right off the bat, those are some really bad names, or at least the 4a 5G is a really bad name. But if you think about it, there's no other way to really put that 5G branding in there and it not sounding that weird. So I guess this is a fine name for now. So this is our first leak and this is a confirmed uh, thing by Google and that is the price. This will be 500 US dollars, which is exactly $150 more than the Pixel 4a. Also, these devices should come sometime around fall, another confirmed leak. We also had an image to go uh, with the, these leaks and, and that's the picture right on the screen right now. And we have what's confirmed to be the order of the devices. So the left is the Pixel 5 with sort of that different texture, the, the color difference. And also if you notice, the left says five, so that's maybe a hint. And then the right says the G, and it's a more matte black finish like we saw on the Pixel 4a, which also basically confirms that that is the 4a 5G. Now from the pictures, we see that the 4a 5G looks a bit taller or bigger. This could be because they're placed you know, in different areas and we can't see the bottom part of the picture. But also the main speculation is that the 4a 5G is a huge 6.7 inch screen, which is completely overtaking the 5 and the 4a. One main complaint for the 4a for me at least was that this didn't have sort of a wide angle or ultra wide like the Nord had, but its price point again does not have much room for more bigger, better sensors. So this this price point with a with a bigger phone and assuming an ultra wide or wide angle lens is a good alternative, a more mid range option rather than the budget for a. So those are your confirmed to almost confirmed speculations and leaks and, and, and major announcements by Google. Now let's go into our speculation part of this entire thing. And that is what we think these phones could possibly house and uh, do when they're supposed to release sometime in fall. Again, these are all my speculations or something I've seen a common trend with a lot of leakers. And these are all opinion based or something that can't really or doesn't really need to be true. This is a, this is something that we can always discuss in the comment section below. So don't try taking this as a confirmed thing. It's just something fun to talk about. Okay, so first, let's talk about the 4A 5G screen. Like I mentioned, it should be something around 6.7 inches, which is absolutely enormous but compared to these days like the new newer standards it's not that big which is really surprising because a couple of years ago i remember a big screen size would be considered like a 5.8 or a 5.9 now we sort of have our first speculation and that is the screen bezels or sort of the aspect ratio i'm thinking the bezels might be a bit thinner on the overall spectrum because the pixel 4a bezels were a bit thicker than regular bezels in other phones. I, I could notice that uh, from the pictures, like as soon as you see it, you see a bit thicker bezels on the bottom and the top. So that's our first speculation. I think the Pixel 4a 5G screen size or the bezel size is gonna be thinner uh, and we're gonna have a bigger screen and bigger screen to body ratio overall. That's our first speculation. Now, the second speculation is for the Pixel 5. We might see sort of a glass back like we've seen on main Pixel phones. Uh, not not recently, but a bit before. It might be a textured finish, like that grainy finish we saw on the number five in the picture, and then a top glass, similar to the Pixel 3a's layout, but the Pixel 3a did not have glass at all. Now next, our third speculation is that the Pixel 5 will come with 5G standard on like the only model. It's gonna be one model, no 5, 5G, uh, just one model. But many people are saying the opposite, like there's gonna be a uh, maybe $1,100 5 5G. So we don't know for sure, but this is a trend I've sort of noticed in some smartphones and, and that's that the 5G is coming standard now on all their flagships. This could be a move for Google, maybe make it an affordable 5G smartphone. 
uh, which is still a flagship. We have to see interesting development from that side of the spectrum. Now, the final speculation is something we saw in the 4A, and we might see it continue to the next devices, and that is the headphone jack. So basically, no major devices nowadays have headphone jacks, and I actually sort of like the headphone jack back in the 4A, and what people are saying is that they're going to keep it in their lower end line, like the A line, and they're going to keep it in the 5G version, but they're not going to keep it in the Pixel 5. And here's why I think different. So Google really was sort of advertising that on Twitter. I used to see people tweet about it, oh, I need a headphone jack, and they used to reply, um, we, we have it back, we, we put it back, and then there used to be people, be people like praising Google about the headphone jack. I think that's going to be sort of a standout feature for Google. They're trying to make sort of a comeback after a long gap of not releasing devices and sort of the disappointment with the Pixel 4 uh, and 4XL. So I think they're going to keep this headphone jack and make it a bold statement and sort of a staple of their entire Pixel lineup or Pixel devices. Those are your leaks for the Pixel 4a 5G and Pixel 5. Again, these are all uh, sort of just developing from a small picture and a small confirmation leak from Google. So I couldn't give you as much as information, but this is more than enough for what we need to know. This was a really interesting topic to talk about. So if you have any questions or concerns or overall just want to talk, um, chat with me in the comments section below. I'll be replying to most of the questions about the Pixel 5 and Pixel 4a 5G. Other than that, interesting development. Wear your masks, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And get ready for un-